Hello, hello everybody and welcome to the life of a board gamer. My name is Daniel and today we are going to take a closer look at a game called Western Legends. A game where basically cowboys are cowboying. So let's get down to the table and let me show you what's inside this box. Okay, so let's take a closer look what's inside this pretty big box. Okay, first of all you have rule book, of course. And it looks a bit scary, but it really isn't that much of the scary rulebook and everything is really neatly explained in this one. The game is fairly easy to learn, there's really no that many rules that you would think some sandbox games usually have. Then we have a huge, huge, but nicely done map. And as you can see, this map looks just gorgeous. So you have cities that you can go to, you can travel and uh, pick up cattle over here, stuff like that. Here you keep money cards, or here you will track some points and the uh, story decks will be here, so you can get points that way, stuff like that. Basically, this is the map, you will go around here and trying to be a good or bad guy, depending what you like, what you want to do. Okay, so let's continue. So... You get these player sheets, each player gets one of these, so you can see uh, this game goes up to six players. So you can see how much, uh, when you are playing poker, how much your hand is worth, how is it better than other hands if you don't know that. Or you can see different abilities of if you're sheriff, stuff like that, how, how you can do some actions, what can you do with it. Basically just a little, quick little reference sheet. And it gets bended because I get it like that, so I had to straighten it out. Uh, then what we have, oh yeah, first of all, we have this rack. And over here you will hold the cards, these little small cards that are over here. You will hold them in here and basically those are the items that, as you can see, it says general store. Those are basically items that you can buy throughout the game. Uh, you can get uh, like different uh, horses and some advanced weapons, I mean advanced, better weapons than you start with. You start with no weapons, some of you. And yeah, so everything revolves around this deck of cards. So uh, it is usual deck of cards, like 52 cards, no jokers, stuff like that. But then all cards have some special abilities over here. So you can use them either for when you're fighting one another or when you are playing them in a poker tournament, stuff like that, to win you some points. But everything revolves around these. These are the main drive, how you decide who is the winner, who is the loser. Then you have these cards. These cards are for each player who gets his own role, his own, his, uh, who he is. So you can be any Oakley. Uh, Bass, Reeves, uh, Billy the Kid and when you advance you can do stuff like that uh, I mean no, no, you start on this side and then you go on this side oh, I'm not really sure now, <laughs> I don't know why but basically you get a bunch of different cards for all kinds of different purposes now as I already told you these cards are used for the story so when you are playing let's say for example five to six players you have to put three tokens here from different players so they put token when but the card tells you to put the token when you spend 80 or more in a town with a single action so you put the token here and then the last player who put the token to activate the card depending how many players it is playing and then you flip it and you see what happens on this side it tells you some story and uh, you get some rewards all of you who did this who advanced the story so to say and then you have these uh, money cards and these are really nice uh, thick sort of plasticky feel cards so they're really quality made they're not some cheap cards and these are used for money which i really like that they're not cards uh, tokens but they are cards and it is really interesting to me so you get a bunch of more cards these are different weapons that stay in this rack over here let me show you the artwork really fast but i don't want to go to all these cards there's like a bunch of billions of different cards so you have some miners map when you're mining you can mine better so you have some hats and liquor and there's a mule so you can carry more gold with your on yourself and there's mustang mustang that is really fast so if you want to be outlaw you should definitely get this one so the sheriff can get to you then you can get some guns and when you upgrade them they get some special abilities and they even get their name this one is called widowmaker for example which is really neat, each gun has its own name 
which is super super awesome if you ask me then you get some more cards if you are playing as a sheriff stuff like that then we got some classic wooden components because uh, you have to mark some stuff like points and all that and then we get these round parts but we'll get to it while I show you miniatures so we have some we have some gold nuggets over here these are used when you are mining nuggets and then we have these kettle tokens and wound markers so you know how many wounds you have before you die oh we have some more dice over here so these dice are used uh, you throw them and you get what is what they show you on location and then each player gets one of these in each color they want uh, so yeah it is like this so this one tracks your wound over here goes your card so everyone knows who you are what your abilities are you keep your money here you can have up to three items one weapon and one mount i mean you can have more weapons but you can only use one at a time so yeah then we have miniatures miniatures are really nice nice i can say they look really really nice and let me just show you a few of them i won't go through all of them there's really no point just see if i can zoom it really quickly but as you can see they look really cool and they have an astonishing amount of details now these are not like super cool details but you can basically see their eyes which is really nice so you pick your miniatures one with the bendy pistol if you want so and then you go around and kill each other and other miniatures are used as outlaws and stuff like that and how you know who is who is because of this over here so when you take one of these let's say for example you take this one and this guy now is an outlaw that you can attack and kill or uh, arrest for points stuff like that and each player has one of these so you can depict who's who the blue player the purple yellow and stuff like that and that's that that's everything that comes in a box of western legends okay so that was western legends and my god this game is really something special now i really like this game i'm not a huge fan of cowboy teams to start with it i really am not but when i heard about what how this game plays and what it is i was like i really want to see it because everyone were uh, comparing to Zaya, which is one of my favorite games so i really wanted to take a closer look at it and my god was i surprised i didn't expect much from it but this game is super awesome now you can really play like anything you want you can go to the bar and uh, get some cash uh, to some girls cabaret girls stuff like that get some points that way you can go and dig for gold get and put that gold in a bank and get that way you can rob that bank and get some points you can be an outlaw you can be a sheriff uh, deputy and go around rest the outlaws you can smuggle the cut cattle cattle around the place you can basically do anything that was to be done on a wild west i presume i never was there so i really don't know how that everything look over there overall playing the game is it, just super awesome uh, the, the weapons that you can buy different weapons you can buy better or uh, not so better horses uh, so you can travel faster it is just awesome i played mostly uh, as a bad guy hunting uh, one of my friends that took one color from me i like to play blue color he said oh, i'll play blue and i was like okay you play blue and then i decided to just chase him around and kill him uh, the gameplay is really fun it's really interesting uh, the overall battles and everything is super fun everything goes through this deck of cards you just play cards who had the biggest card is the winner but cards have some special abilities and the higher the card the better ability is but when you are uh, playing poker it's basically texas hold'em you want to use those cards so you can win like a bunch of money and then buy points that way and it is just like huge points salad all over the place uh, but in so many different ways in so many different cool ways that that i'm really really i don't know it, it's just awesome it, the game is super super fun uh so yeah i uh, the miniatures are okay they don't have like a humongous jump, bunch of details stuff like that but you can clearly see if guy has mustache or not which is really cool they're really tiny but they're they serve their purpose very well and i like that uh overall this is really fun and interesting game if you like Zaya or if you like those sandbox games where you can basically do anything you want definitely check Western Legends 
and uh, my score for this game would be like let's say nine most coldest pristine gluten-free keg glasses of beer or or how do you ever call that big thing that you can pour beer in now why beer because cowboys beers it's a main thing so yeah that's that until next time Pozdra. this video was brought to you by filibertnet.com the game in all its states